And WNY political analyst Dr. Jim Twombly joining us today. Uh, Jim, we're talking again about the Dominion voting systems versus uh, Fox defamation lawsuit. Now, earlier today, that trial was supposed to get underway. The jury had been seated after it was a delay today yesterday. Uh, and then late this afternoon, the judge, uh, before close or opening arguments or opening statements rather got underway, the judge announced that they had settled. Um, Dominion had been seeking $1.6 billion in damages. The allegation was is that Fox knowingly repeated lies in an attempt to defame uh, Dominion's reputation and cost them future income uh, relating to their voting systems. Uh, today, the judge announced that settlement um, would be for $787 million and $787.5 million. And all of this breaking just within the past, less than the past two hours. Um, so we have learned during the discovery phase as some of these hearings have been going underway that at least some Fox executives and on-air personalities were aware that information that they went on air and said about Dominion were untrue, but they distributed that information anyway. Um, Fox, uh, their defense was going to be that they had, uh, they were trying to protect their free speech rights and those of other news organizations. They say if Dominion won this lawsuit, it was going to have a chilling effect on them and other outlets and what they could say. So, in a nutshell, <laughs> what is the, the, the heart of the matter here? Well, given what we have already seen released um, by the Dominion legal team up to this point, it certainly doesn't look like it fits that category. Uh, but the ultimate decision would have been in the hands of the jury if it had gone to trial. Um, and uh, we should be clear here that the First Amendment, whether we're referring to free speech generally or the free press, uh, does protect relaying false information. Um, the difference is when that speech or that reporting is done with a specific intent uh, or complete disregard of the truth to harm another individual or entity. The Supreme Court has characterized this as malice of forethought or actual malice, uh, which means that the reporter knows uh, what was being reported is false, but reports it anyway. Okay, and so this case has been, they've been prepping for trial for quite some time now. It was supposed to start yesterday, and Sunday night it was announced it would be delayed until uh, today. Again, that jury was seated, um, but then this announcement. So could we really kind of see this coming with these delays that we experienced? Yeah, there was some speculation that that was the case. We also heard that um, while Fox might have been interested in a settlement, that Dominion might not have been because they wanted to embarrass Fox as much as they had been embarrassed by Fox. Uh, maybe they got that with the release of that pretrial discovery information and all of those behind the scenes text messages and emails. Um, but certainly for those who uh, wanted to see Fox punished for what it did, this was a disappointment. But if you're one of the attorneys for Dominion Voting Systems, you did what you what you thought was in the best interest of your client and you took the money and ran we can't fault them for that um but those who wanted to see something somebody stand up for the truth in news reporting probably were a bit disappointed by the settlement today okay and now with this settlement will, will this case have any impact on the political environment not likely it's it's entirely possible that <clears throat> fox <clears throat> excuse me fox's core audience won't believe or trust the outcome um there are more cases still coming though uh, we've got uh, Smartmatics, uh, and then there's the case with the uh, Fox executive who was fired, who's suing uh, Fox News. Uh, but we can hope that uh, the decision might have the effect of turning down at least some of the more incendiary rhetoric at Fox. All right. Well, Jim, thank you very much. My pleasure.